Hi guys, welcome back to TOT, a channel where we talk about tech, life, and tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download the software on, um, on this uh, scanner, the NT650. I've done a, a video before just reviewing, you know, the pros of uh, using this machine as a DIY. So I believe, um, you know, after greater deliberations, I realized it wasn't as easy just getting that simple information on, on getting the software on updating this. And that's what actually prompted me to make this video. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's get on it, guys. Right, uh, so the problem that I faced, because I'm not actually lo uh, located in, in USA, so I realized that each time that I went to the website, it gave me two options. So there is actually one option to log into uh, the foxwelltech.com, and there's also an option to log into the foxwelltech.usa. So initially... I tried logging into uh, the foxwelltech.com, obviously not being a USA resident, and I realized that uh, each time that I've actually followed the, 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 um, the instruction, that is actually to go to download, as you can see here. So it shows you these uh, particular downloads. So ideally, you need to be downloading this one at the bottom here. But I realized I constantly continue to have problems. It was simply downloading a PDF and not the zip file. So then I figured out I've got to actually go to the USA website rather than the .com. So there I was able to search for my scanner, the NT650. So I went here and then I just clicked download there. So immediately it starts, uh, it started downloading. So it downloaded the correct file. So basically once, once that is downloaded, then you've got to unzip the file. I've already done a pre-download. You've got to unzip the file. And once you unzip the file, just um, pretty much just uh, click on it and it will start to load. It's gonna load onto your computer and you will have an icon, this particular icon there, the Fox scanner. That's what you need to, to get to. Next thing that you need to do is to then uh, click on that particular shortcut to the Fox scanner. I say yes, right. So basically here I've already, first of all, I registered myself. So I was able to actually get a, a username and a, and a password. So this is just the registration that you initially do on the on the website. Okay, so I can then log in, right? And once you have logged in, you also need a second password and a serial number. All right, how to identify your serial number and your password? You're gonna plug in your cable. So that's uh, pretty much your cable to the computer there or to any USB, just to power up the scanner. Once you are in, the next thing is you want to go down and till you get to where it says setup there and enter there. Once you get in there, you wanna go to about you want to click in there right so i'm just gonna just uh, moved it a bit back so once you click in there you should be able to get your serial number as well as your password and you will need that information to enter into the fox scanner so what you're gonna do is first of all you're gonna register your 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 scanner here so you gotta click here where it says uh, register product and and you've got to click uh, here and remember i've shown you how to actually obtain your serial number and password this is something that you cannot make up 
it actually comes with the scanner itself so you just need to go to that very last menu you click on about and once you click on about you, you you click on application or setup and then you click about and then you get that information you put it in here once you put it in here you gotta then click here submit once you submit then the system will recognize that you are registered and and it's able to allow you to receive updates so the second thing now is you want to then click on my updates my updates and then the next thing is you want to click available updates okay and you gotta then also ensure that the sd card is in So as soon as you put the SD card in there, the system will detect. And the next thing that you need to just do here is to click here where it says updates. Okay. Yeah, so basically because I've already updated uh, this, so there's nothing more to update. Basically, once you come here, there will be a set of updates underneath here. Uh, in this case, as you can see, it says uh, you have installed all the latest updates. So in this case, nothing is going to happen. But in your case, if, there's, if there are things that you have not updated, they will appear there. And all you just need to do is to then uh, click the button update. And then once that is done, then that's pretty much all you need to know. The rest, you can always explore all these tabs here about my profile. You could, uh, okay, so this is just my personal information. I'm based in Australia. Uh, what is this? Support tickets, print. Yeah, you can always explore some of these things here. I don't really use any of this. But that's uh, pretty much the main thing here, just registra registration. And uh, thank you. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, like and subscribe if you think this content, if you found this content helpful in any way. Thanks, guys, and uh, stay blessed. Cheers. Bye.